Hi everyone. I thought it might be useful to make a short video to show people how I've installed touch cab on my model railway. I use the lens operating system and I have two handheld controllers and they are supplied with the information from the black box LVZ 100 which I've installed under the layout. The black box obviously is connected to the two handheld controllers and uh, to the track. Obviously it's supplied by the 5 amp transformer as well. In addition, you also need the lens interface which is this unit here, the 23151 unit. That connects to the LVZ1 black box if you like and then over here that's the transformer by the way but this is the other part part which is the wireless router and as you can see that's just connected into a power source and also back to the 23151 unit this particular router which I bought for £20 from Argos sorted a few problems. I did try one or two others. I tried the one I used downstairs for the home broadband but this plugged in and it was recognised by the touch cab system immediately and it just saved a lot of heartache. Unfortunately this is uh, an expensive piece of kit but you know if you want to keep it simple it's £125 and it works. Here's my iPod, okay, you can see on there I've got the TouchCab app. I've now just uh, switched the settings over to the TP-Link router and then all I do is just tap TouchCab and there we go, it's registering at the bottom, click and that's it, I'm online straight away. So, it's quite simple, there you go, that's uh, Jubilee there. 45611 and what I do now is fetch up my list of locos just scroll it up find Hong Kong there it is 45611 comes up on the screen because that's the loco I'm about to operate and all I'll do is just slide across and there it goes slow it down or stop, bring it to a stop okay. How cool is that? There are all sorts of different things we can do here. For instance, now I've got a class 40 over there, D325. Just click it up onto the screen. I can then, here you go, listen. And it started it up. I can uh, press the horn. Another horn. All, all the other sound effects are on here as well. Um, you can also change points and signals on it if you want, but I don't do that. Um, reversing direction is just tap that up there and then switch the sound off. There you go, just on shutdown now. It's brilliant. Okay, there you go. I hope that was of some interest and of some use to those that uh, maybe are interested in going along the touch cab line. I certainly have found it amazing and since I had an iPhone already, it was a real bonus. Okay, there's a little bit more expense than that, but it's been absolutely brilliant. And I know a lot. everybody else I know who's tried it is extremely happy and enthusiastic about it. There you go.